Hey there y'all, Ty here. Today's Tuesday, so you know what that means. That means today's another episode of Let's Talk Tuesdays. My special guest of the week this week has been a guest that has not been on my channel in a very long time. And that's going to be my peace tea. You always gotta remember, you need to shake it first. There's like wettage all right there. You can't see it, but it's there. So today's video, I wanted to do a little like story time with you guys because I had an experience the other day. The other day I was hanging out with my dad. He came up to Houston to do a little work and whatnot. And so he was like, hey, you wanna grab like a late lunch, dinner, whatever? And I was like, yeah, sure. So we went and did all the things he needed to do and we ended up getting dinner. And then afterwards we decided to go get dessert at a local dessert place called the Chocolate Bar. Hey, that place is so, so good. For $10, you get a slice of cake, but the slice of cake is like this big. I got one called Aunt Edda's, and it is just chocolate heaven. Afterwards, as we were like getting ready to leave, it's probably 8.30 at this time. I noticed that it was 8.30, and so I was like, hey dad, is it okay if, you know, we hit up Urban? It's like five stores down the way, we can just walk there real fast. He was like, yeah, sure. I was like, okay, let's hurry up. It closes in 30 minutes. And he was like, well, are you sure you just don't want to go and I'll pack all this up and I'll meet you down there? And I was like, oh, okay, I mean, if you don't mind. So as I went to go exit the chocolate bar, this guy like grabbed a hold of the door. It wouldn't let me open it. Like I probably had like this much space opened, he, he wouldn't let me open it. He had a very firm grasp on it. I was like, ooh, what do I do? So I like slipped through the opening of the door and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, excuse me. And then out of nowhere, he was just like, you looking at? I was like, whoa, sir, whoa, language. So I kind of got a little like suspicious. I guess you could say I was just kind of like, oh no, like I don't want any, like no thank you. I'm just, I'm gonna go now. And so as I tried to like scoot past him, he just turned with me the whole way and he was like balling his fists up and he started just like yelling at me. And I was like, oh my God, what is going on? But I was like, you know what? Maybe if I ignore him and I just walk, it'll be fine. So I'm like walking and he's still there shaking his fists. What the fuck are you looking at? And why are you turning the fuck around? Who the hell are you looking at? And just all kinds of stuff like that. And I was like, sir, like I'm not turning around. I'm not paying you any attention. Like, no, no, no. And he was literally like like this close to me like super scary because I was like okay what do I do like what is he gonna do does he have a weapon and so I was like you know what I'm just gonna walk a little faster and I could just feel him and I could hear him because he's literally screaming at the top of his lungs and just mumbling weird things and cussing at me and I could see him in my peripheral vision like the windows the shop windows I got like two stores down and by that time like I said I was walking pretty fast and he's still like saying like the fuck are you looking at I'm shaking his fist and at this point I'm like shaking I'm like oh my god he's gonna fight me does he have a weapon like what's going to happen I need to make a quick decision should I keep going to urban or should I turn back around and go back to the chocolate bar and in that split second I was like you know what I need to turn around he could attack me I don't know what's gonna happen and I don't know if you guys have seen me I am a teeny tiny little boy man so I turned around really fast and you could just see the craze and the anger in this guy's eye I literally took off running to the chocolate bar and he ran right after me and I was like oh my god I'm gonna die oh my God, God, don't let this happen. Jesus, take the wheel. Luckily, I made it back to the chocolate bar, and as soon as I ran in, he stopped like at the door. So I'm still shaking the whole time. Like, I am just shaking. And so I ended up calming down a little bit, and my dad was like, Look, if you want to go to Urban, just go to Urban. I'll follow you there. I'm going to call the cops so that way they can take care of this. They took like 30, 35 minutes to get to us, and we told them our story. They're like, okay, well, we'll try looking for him because by this time he had already like ran away. You could obviously tell he was homeless and he was on drugs. We never heard anything back from them, so we don't know what happened to the guy. Probably nothing. Just like when I got mugged like three years ago on Labor Day. But besides that, nothing really that exciting has happened this week. I bought the new Animal Crossing game, Happy Home Designer, and it is so much fun. I am so addicted to this. I have been playing it almost non-stop, which kind of explains why you guys didn't get a book club video this past Saturday. Um, I apologize, it will go up very, very soon. I do already have the October halloween -y book picked out that I will hopefully shoot a video and upload this Saturday on time. So, I'm just rambling on about nothing and everything, as I usually do. So that's gonna be it for today's video. If you liked this video and you are happy that I am safe, then go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. And until next time, stay rad. Bye.